Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. It has been already a few weeks without a video and unfortunately for this week I don't have anything ready either. So I decided to record a little update video to show you what has happened in my room and what I'm currently working on. So let me flip the camera and show what I have got. Okay, let's start with this. This is a Trudon 2.0 Pro 3D printer that I bought to print more devices to educate Russians from bad to good, but unfortunately not everything goes with this printer as smooth as I would wish. So right out of the box, this motor doesn't work properly, it makes crazy scary sounds, and now I'm waiting for the motor replacement. And that means that I cannot finish assembly of the printer, I cannot go back and set up my video recording settings, because I need to keep this printer here disassembled, waiting for the replacement part. On the good side, this Prusa MK4 printer works like a swish clock, and I have absolutely no complaints about the printer. It already needs some service after so much work it has done, but I absolutely love this little machine, even though the enclosure box is gigantic. Now, for the projects I am currently working on, as you can see, entire table is filled up with different kind of items. And first, let me cover these two chassis. So these are NAS or Network Attached Storage chassis, which can be 3D printed. And this one is mod case mass premium and this one is mod case mass free. So this one is available for free at printables and this one is available for a fee. I plan to build two NAS devices, test them and see which one I'm going to keep for myself. So for the free version I decided to go with Odroid H4 SBC. This is actually H4 Plus because it has uh, the SATA connectors and SBC basically means single board computer. This Odroid H4 is smaller than Mini ITX, so I had to design and print this kind of uh, Odroid to Mini ITX uh, adapter to install into this chassis. Now, for the bigger one, I plan to use Gigabyte B550 Mini ITX motherboard, and here it would be interesting to test ECC memory support, if it actually works, how it performs, and so on. One of these NAS devices I will keep for myself, and one of them will go on sale, but I have not yet decided which one I'm gonna keep. Probably the small one will stay with me. Now, it also seems like this uh, Aryan B760 motherboard has got a BIOS update with the Intel 13th and 14th gen CPU support, so I plan to update the BIOS for this motherboard and retest it. I hope in the latest BIOS they have fixed some of the crucial flaws of the motherboard and now it is actually usable. If that's the case, I will print one more of these mod case uh, evolution chassis and build a tiny micro, AT, uh, uh, actually it is not micro ATX, it's mini ITX uh, gaming PC using the Aryan board. This particular chassis is slightly customized to be able to host a machinist X99 PR9 motherboard. And this project is lasting for way too long. My first idea was to build uh, the most powerful X99 mini ITX computer or uh, so-called mini ITX computer, but then I quickly gave up on this idea because SFX power supplies uh, 600 watt and plus costing too much. After all, I decided to go with a budget Mini ITX X99 build using Machinist X99 PR9, Xeon E5 2640v4 and GTX 1660 Super. Right now I'm finishing testing and hopefully this video will be available soon. Then I also have to test this uh, TPM 2.0 or Trusted Platform Module Implementation by BIOS A Engineer. He has attached the TPM module onto this Machinist X99 MR9A motherboard, so I, I have to test it and make a video about it. Additionally, I also have two extra X99 motherboards. This first one is Huanan G X99 QD4, and this one is some sort of a cheat X99 whatever, I don't even remember the name. So as you can see, I have lots of projects to do, I have everything going on, but unfortunately I didn't manage to complete any of the projects for this week. So I hope to greet you in another video during the next weekends. For now, thanks for watching, 
Stay awesome, help Ukraine. See you next time.